this is how to install games to Bad Osira Linux, the emulator thing that um, lets you play games. This is the easy way if you have Windows. Um, if you can tell here, it has all kinds of stuff PlayStation, Super Nintendo, Commodore 64, Nintendo, PC Engine, PlayStation, you know, all kinds of stuff on here. Um, I believe they have a newer version that has PS2 and some other things. Alright. So, this is going to be interesting. I do not have my controller plugged in. Right now, for Nintendo, I have 317 games on here. I do not have a uh, network set up. I do have Windows installed on my drive here. So, we're going to see how this works. I actually need to have my controller plugged in probably. So, give me a sec. You can see I have some Nintendo games. Alright. Now, I do have to have the controller plugged in to access the menu. Now, I'm going to quit this and I'm going to show you how to add games to this without networking and without going online. Let me make sure I get it. Oh, I hit the wrong button there. Quit. Shut down system. Yes. Okay, I'm going to show you how to get games on here. I already have Windows installed on my laptop. Here's how you do it. Right here I have Linux Mint Mate installed on this little flash drive. I'm going to boot from that. Boot from USB. Now, I am not going to install Linux. I'm going to transfer games straight from my Windows hard disk. But I'm going to use this Linux Mint USB flash drive. I will not install it. But I'm going to show you the easiest way to do this. I have to be really careful. My girlfriend's over there on her computer. If I get her on this, she'll kill me. Right, babe? Yep. Yeah. I would get Midnight in here. He's over here while this is booting, but this little camcorder stinks in his house, and uh, you're going to be lucky to even see this. Hopefully it turns out so you can see it, and so I can see it later. Um, I just discovered this. See right here? I am not going to install Linux Mint. I'm just going to use it right off the USB flash drive. Now I have the other one right here. It's on this extension because, well, my laptop is so close together. I plug that in. And there it is. It picks up. Alright. And this will be in the share down here. Right here. Now, if you open the share folder and look, it already pops up. You see ROMs. Now I'm going to go to um, just Nintendo NES. This works the same way with all kinds of other games. PSP, uh, NES, Super NES, and Nintendo 64. I'm open at NES. As you can see, all these games here are zipped. Except for this one. And that came with it. Um, that's 2048. I don't know what that game is. So, But I'm going to show you how to do this. Keep this folder open. Go to my computer. Now I do have a split hard drive on here. I have Windows XP and Windows 7. So all I have to do is mount the right 
hard drive if you don't have a split drive it will only show one drive alright I can close this now I open the drive and go to document settings uh, me it will be under your name uh, my documents which is right here open games and here's Nintendo NES and then ROMs now here's what you have to do to copy these games back click and open as administrator alright and find the games you want I believe I was down to Conan so I'm going to go down to the C's this will work the exact same way for PlayStation, PSP, pretty much every game you can think of. If you have it on your hard drive already, so there's Conan. I'm just going to start here. Alright. I'm going to hit copy. Alright and make sure you go to the right folder alright which is not that one let's close that it should be right here right here yes now open this as administrator and then paste if paste is not lit up to where you can do this you have to open as administrator alright that's done now sometimes this may take a little while now I'm gonna close this close this close this now I'm going to go back to my hard drive and you can probably just back click but I just find this just easier just going through the steps again open games um, here's Nintendo 64 I'm not gonna move any of those or Super Nintendo I'm going to look under PlayStation 1 Now, the easiest way to do this is just copy and paste, not the uh, folder you have it in. In fact, I'm going to try this game. Uh, Final Fantasy VIII uh, may or may not work since it only has a Ben file. I'm not sure if Ben files only work. Alright. Hit copy minimize open the share ROMs and then you have to go down to PlayStation 1 which is P under PSX and remember always back clicking to open as administrator or this will not work and then paste and it will copy over to your game folder once again I'm not sure if this will work because this is only a bin file I did add croc legend of the gabos or whatever the name is but it had a bin and Q file so we will have to see and then we're going to close this close this make sure your folders and files are closed then I unmount and then I eject and this writing drive to data do not unplug just let that stay for a while and it will eventually eject itself and give that time because it still could still be writing and remember Linux is not installed I have Windows installed on this laptop Windows uh, XP and Windows 7 so it's a dual boot and if it doesn't eject just keep trying to eject until it does as you can see it already ejected the share folder and sometimes this can take a little while 
and just keep trying to eject and it'll tell you unable to eject because it's already in operation pending and do not unplug this make sure this is ejected first all right I will be back when this is ejected and I what I will do is I'll turn this off and I'll come back and we'll see what it does okay it took a few minutes but you can see it's gone now um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug it I left Linux plugged in I'm gonna shut down quit shut down now remember this run off the flash drive remove and it says press enter and that shuts it down now we're gonna plug this in and our game controller you have to have a game controller for this uh, unless you can figure out the keyboard shortcuts which I'm actually not going to go through and this is really hard to do it one hand all right start it back up hit F12 because I do have another hard drive in here USB it's bad as Sarah let that load up and since I added games on here it is going to take a little bit longer every time you add games onto it it takes longer to load the first time after you add games there we go if it doesn't load automatically give it time and I put Nintendo games 2110 games available it says which I don't have that many games I don't think um, this is what I wanted to check okay this does have to have the Q file alright so we're gonna go back on that so move games in there with a bin Q file only check the Nintendo Ghosts and Goblins. Um, let's keep going. So remember, on your PlayStation games, it has to be BenQ. Um, I'm not sure about any other format. This is the first time I'm using this. far didn't I um,
Okay, the exit. Hit pause, hit ESC. And to exit that, hit your start button on your controller. And then go down to quit. That is the easy way to install games on this system. If you already have Windows or even Linux installed, this is how you transfer games without using network or Wi-Fi. Alright, bye.